played professional rugby for about 18 years. Um, and my last stint was with Otago Rugby while I was doing a building apprenticeship. And uh, Otago had a pretty poor year that year, back in 2011. And uh, there was a change of guard with the coaches. Tony Brown came on board and he, um, he asked me to be an assistant coach with him. And I thought at that stage that if I was still playing rugby, it would be pretty hard for me to do the coaching job. Um, so I kind of, for my own personal reasons, gave up the, the boots um, playing rugby so that I could just concentrate on, on the coaching. You know, I'm an old man now and I've got to accept the fact that as a 38-year-old, I'm not as mobile anymore. I could probably scrum the house down, but running around after that ball's pretty hard, so... Yeah, <laughs> I've got to let that go. <laughs> um, it wasn't a natural following that I wanted to pursue, uh, being a coach. Um, it's something that's kind of uh, come out of necessity with Otago. Um, there are a lot of young players down here who have had no experience and no guiding with scrum, scrum coaching. Um, so for me to to, to get into the role, I, I accepted Tony Brown's offer. Um, after that offer that Tony Brown gave me to be the ITM Cup uh, assistant coach, uh, I got the offer to be the Hollander scrum coach and it was just one of those jobs that was too good to be true. I was hoping to get that job in maybe two or three years after I had done something outside of rugby for a while. I was doing a building apprenticeship and I, um, I was wanting to go and build for a couple of years and do something outside of rugby, get away from it for a while, but um, as fate has it, I, I never got that opportunity and these roles came up that were too good to turn down and um, for me it's it's been straight into the coaching. I've found coaching so far um, really enjoyable. Um, I've found it also quite, uh, quite challenging at times um, and it's also, uh, you've got to be on the mental side of, of the game as well is that you can be a technical coach but you've also got to try and coach these young guys the the mental side of of, of the art of scrummaging and getting them buying into the, the systems and values that I have when it comes to scrum time and when I get all those boys in line we get a very good scrum and at the moment our scrum is not going too bad so I'm, I'm really enjoying it. The hardest part of coaching that I've found is probably the, the, the time that we spend preparing for trainings and preparing our week. Um, as a player you don't really realise that the coaches, when you turn up, the coaches have been there probably an hour or two prior and they don't leave till, till late at night because of all the work that we're doing, prepping the trainings, viewing uh, footage from previous trainings, doing the trainings and then going back after training looking at video footage and then planning the following day is, is, is the amount of time that we actually spend is probably the hardest part for the amount of time that we give to the players, the amount of information that we give to the players is is, is minimal compared to the time that we've done prepping. My hopes for the future are to continue growing as a coach, um, also to continue doing well as a coach. Um, I think every coach wants to be the best in their, their area. Um, but for me, I know that I've come straight out of playing and that I'm learning to be a coach as well as coaching. So I'm taking baby steps and who knows in the future, I'm, I'm, I'm expecting I'm going to be a pretty good coach. So, yeah. <laughs>